Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Bites of Bread. I'm Pastor Nate Buckner. So glad that you could join up with us here at Good Shepherd. Perhaps it hasn't happened lately. In fact, probably not for most people, but maybe it's happened to you before. There you are, you're sitting on the airplane in the runway, ready for the plane to take off. As you look around, you can see a little bit out of your window. You can see the people that are loading up the bags into the plane. You can see other planes taking off, things like that. But within a few short minutes, all of a sudden, it's your plane that is taking off. There you are, thousands of feet in the air, and you have a completely different view of what is going on beneath you. Such is what happens when we are studying God's Word. Either in worship or on our own personal or family devotions, we are transported beyond the mundane and the ordinary and lifted up with our sight and our eyes in heaven itself. That's what Jesus does for us in our, our gospel from this past Sunday. It's from John chapter 14. It's the chapter in which Jesus talks about how he's going to prepare a room for you. He's going to give you your, your own mansion, your own home. And in this, when he introduces it to the disciples, he says, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. Is this meaning then that we should never be affected by what is going on there in the world? Does it mean that what is happening to us personally it shouldn't be that big of a deal, that we should just kind of smile and let everything roll over the top of us? Of course not. That's not how life works. That's not how our brain works. Even when Jesus was walking here on this earth, even he had plenty that, that struck him. You think of the anger that he felt as he overturned the temple, uh, the, the, the tables there, or the, the pain that he felt when he saw Lazarus in the grave. Of course Jesus was affected by that, and if he is, of course we are going to be too. That is the human way. So God is not saying, don't be affected by this, whatever it might be that is going on in your life. What he's telling you not to do is not to be like a snow globe. You've seen snow globes before. You take them, you shake them up, and all of a sudden, all the snow goes flying crazily throughout the air. It creates a blizzard-like condition. That's what God is saying not to let happen in your life. Don't let your life be so discombobulated that, that you just, your brain is swimming around with all these different things coming at 100 million miles an hour at you. How in the world are we supposed to do that? Especially with everything going on there like it is right now. Especially with everything else that you have going on on top of you. Life is crazy. How, how are we supposed to not let our hearts be troubled? Well, what you are like is this. You are the house built upon the rock. You can see the storm. You can see the sea. You can see the waves are churning. You can hear the thunder crashing. You can witness all of this. But you're still at the top. Even though you might be scared, is your house going to overturn? Of course not. With everything going on, there are some truths that have not changed and that will not change. This being one of them, God's still making your house. Jesus is still putting brick by brick into it, getting everything ready, getting everything set, so that you can join his family up there in heaven to be with all those saints who have gone on before you. God is still doing this. As crazy as this all is right here, right now, your heaven is undisturbed. With that, keep on pushing forward. This is a marathon we're in, and this is a hard stretch. We are running up a hill at the moment. But push, push hard towards that goal. Keep on struggling and get yourself into devotions. Get yourself into worship, watching it online, or however it is that you found necessary for you yourself to do it do these things and you will be transported to view what it is that god sees what it is that he is doing for you right now amen god's blessings to you mm -hmm.